ameliorate, hopefully this presentation will answer some of the questions you have about the subjects we offer in the food, health and textiles department. We offer two subjects, GCSE Food and Nutrition and GCSE Health and Social Care and Child Care. Both subjects have quite a bit of coursework in them, so they're really good for students who tend to like coursework as opposed to an oral examination subject. So first of all, why on earth would you want to choose food and nutrition? The first important reason is that there's a worldwide shortage of food and nutrition graduates. The food and drink manufacturing industry is massive. It employs about 15% of the UK workforce and is absolutely vital to our economy. The food and drink supply chain in Wales employs over 242,000 people, so it's absolutely massive. Importantly, everybody has to eat at some point. The course is divided up into two units. Unit one is the theory part of the exam, which is tested by a rigorous exam paper at the end of year 11. And this will help to develop your academic knowledge of a wide range of topics such as food science to food preparation and nutrition. The unit two assessments account for 60% of the exam mark, which means that if you do really well in this part of the work, you've got a fair few marks before you even sit the exam paper. So it's great for people who perhaps panic a bit of exams and don't like sitting exams. And this particular assessment part will give you a wide range of access to a plethora of different opportunities to develop your practical skills. The next few slides highlight some of the superb GCSC prep work we've had in the last few years. So we've got from fruit tartlets to layered sponge cakes, from panna cottas to homemade pizza bases and wedges. We've got lasagnas uh, made with pupils making their own lasagna. We've got creme anglaise. We have got homemade pastry with pasty making going on. And we've got lemon meringues with a toffee sauce. And this slide shows a pear and chocolate tart, naan bread with a curry, and we've got a homemade cheesecake with um, a fruit coulis. A lot of pupils ask me, what can I do with a GCSE food qualification? Well, this course gives you a wide range of pathways into universities and future job roles, such as sports scientists, food scientists, food photographers, food styling, food technologists, dietitians, teaching, or the healthcare and wellbeing sector, along with the public health sector. Probably most of you have actually eaten some bread this morning or you've had some bread in the last few days and probably you've just put it in a toaster or made it into a sandwich and eaten it, which I'm probably right, aren't I? But this next slide will show you how many people are actually involved in making that loaf of bread and it might shock a few of you. So we've got from farmers through to buyers to food scientists to food engineers because somebody has to repair all the machines that go wrong in the food factories, we've got food stylists and we've got food photographers. It's a massive industry. Also, every pupil who chooses food nutrition GCSE will have the opportunity to study the, for the food hygiene certificate, which is great for your CV and for UCAS applications. And you study that in school and sit the test in school as well. You could be one of these people. I think it's really important to stress that we do get consistently excellent results in the department in both food and health and social care and child care. I encourage you to seriously consider
consider taking part in the GCSE food and nutrition course as one of your options as it's fun, exciting and will allow you to develop your own skills for later life extremely well. The second part of this presentation will just talk you through a little bit about the health and social care and childcare course and some of the opportunities available to you if you choose this option. The health and social care course is divided into two units. Unit one is the written exam paper, which you will sit at the end of year 10 with the opportunity to sit again in year 11. And the unit two is the non-examination assessment that which, of which there are two. One is linked to service provision and the other is health promotion. So again, if you choose this subject and you do well in the coursework, you've actually got yourself quite a few marks before you actually sit that exam paper in year 10 or year 11. So some of the jobs you can go into if you take GCSE Health and Social and Childcare would be, for example, a nursery nurse, a nurse, a teacher, speech and language therapist, psychologist, social worker. Occupational therapist, a play therapist, health service manager, a health visitor, a health care assistant and health promotion specialist. If you choose either of the subjects in the department, you will have the opportunity to attend a catch-up cafe lunchtime sessions if you're struggling with a piece of work or you just need something explained to you in a bit more detail. There's also after-school revision sessions as and when pupils may need them. So there's always massive amounts of support available to help you. So if you're thinking about taking either or both of these subjects, what should you do next? So if you're thinking of taking either of these subjects, either talk to myself about the food nutrition course at Mrs Lloyd by email at the moment, obviously, or you can talk to Miss Knight or myself regarding the health and social care and childcare course, as Mrs Lewis is on maternity leave at the moment, or you can log on to the WJC website, or you can speak to via email pupils currently taking the subject in year 10 and 11. We're here to help you make the right choice for you. So please, if you've got any questions, can you email me, Mrs Lloyd or um, Miss Knight, and we will help out with any questions you may have or any extra information you may want from us. So goodbye, you eight, and good luck. And I hope you make the right choices for you because you'll be studying it for three years, OK? And hopefully we look forward to seeing quite a number of you in September. Okay then, bye for now.